and a very warm welcome to you. I'm Hayley Palmer. Really good to have you here with me on the Memory Lane 80s show this evening, especially as we have a special guest for you. Yes, it's Mark Short from Ben Jericho and we'll be catching up with him after this. show how are you hi Hayley thank you so much for having me on here it's lovely to be here thank you oh it's an absolute pleasure to have you here on the memory lane 80 show this evening and what have you been up to because we've been in lockdown yeah I mean it's been a difficult time for all of us I've been uh, as creative as I know how um I've been recording a few songs on my laptop and uh, working with various musicians but uh, of course it's all been remote um so it's been a very difficult situation because uh, I don't play an instrument myself, um, so I haven't got any instruments here anyway, which is a blessing for my neighbours because I'm a terrible player. So, um, so at least I haven't got to put up with that. But I've been trying to write just I write lyrics and melodies myself. So I've been recording lots of songs. Uh, and last summer I did um, a couple of events for Let's Rock. We did a, something called um, the Let's Rock Lockdown Fest, and we did two of those where I just literally sang into a laptop and a whole host of. Uh, of acts, everybody from Tony Hadley to Go West to Nick Kershaw, we all did videos uh, singing our songs directly live from home and that went out on YouTube and we got about 2 million people watching it and raised a lot of money for Child Bereavement UK. So I did that and that inspired me. So I set up a a Patreon campaign, a crowdfunding campaign and I've been um, raising money to be able to do some little home performances and I've done some listening parties and I'm going to be doing more of those and just interacting with fans really and trying to keep people entertained. 
Yeah, oh, we love that. And we want to play out uh, this is the first song on the show tonight, which is a Big Area, which was your greatest chart success with Ben Jericho. It was, yeah. Um, it sort of staggered into the charts about number two, straight into number 20. Um, stayed there for about a week because Gallup thought it had been uh, hyped or something. So they, they handicapped it and it stayed at number 20. Um, and then the next week it shot up to number 13. Um, we thought, wow, we're going to have a massive hit. And then we didn't because it stayed at 13. Um, but it went to number seven in the network charts and it went to number one in other countries. But it's been our enduring legacy and it's our favourite song to play live. And everybody seems to love it. So, uh, yeah, I'm very proud of it. Yeah. Very happy with it. Oh, we love it here on the show. Let's check out the video and we'll see you after this.
So let's rewind. How did everything start for you in the band? Because am I right in saying that you formed uh, it via an ad in Melody Maker? I did indeed, yeah. I, I, I'd never been in a band in my life. I mean, I've got no musical training. Um, I, I, you know, I had a couple of music lessons at school like everybody else, but because I moved all over the country as a kid, I went to about 14 different schools. I've never had any training. So the only way I knew... Uh, I'd worked in advertising for a little bit, and so I knew how to do adverts, how to, how to write an advert. So I wrote an advert lying uh, in Melody Maker, claiming that I'd had a record deal, publishing deal, a manager, a tour. <laughs> uh, well, this will get them. And I auditioned 35 people in one room at the same time because nobody told me you got people in by one by one. I didn't know. So I had all these people making this horrendous cacophonous racket, and I just chose the ones that sort of the ones I could hear. Um, that's how it worked out. Um, and formed, <laughs> formed the band from, from that and then sort of Yay! kept sort of getting different players in until I got the lineup that I wanted. It took about a year of rehearsal before we were ready to do any gigs yeah. and then we did seven gigs. Really? Yeah, and then we just did just seven shows and got a deal after seven gigs, so it was worthwhile. Wow, I love hearing that because a lot of people just think, oh, it's an overnight success, but I always love hearing people's stories, you know, of, of how it happened. Uh, but we're going to play out uh, your first hit single, The Motive. Uh, this is a great song, isn't it? Thank you, yeah, we enjoyed uh, this one. It was uh, one of those things that when we wrote it, again, we kind of knew we had a hit. It just kind of came to us. Wrote it in the back room of my flat uh, up in uh, up in Charlotte oh. Street in London. Um, and the video is featuring lots of flamethrowers and me leaping through flames. And I got set fire to it at one point and got sat down and given a very stern talking to by a fireman and said, little boy, this is why we don't play with fire. <laughs> So if you look, my pony cell starts up about a foot and a half long. By the end of it, it's about three inches. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, we're going to check out the video. Uh, here it is. Uh, the Motive, top 20 in 1987. Enjoy.
Hi, this is Mark Shaw from Then Jericho on Hayley Palmer's Memory Lane, and this is our single Sugarbox from the second album, The Big Area. one of our viewers sally she wants to know uh, where did the name then jericho come from uh it came from the bible um it came i was living in a spot at the time and um i had cut two books uh, one of which was a uh, rather sexual in nature and the other one was um was the bible i never really read the bible properly and um half of it was missing but i just had enough to read up to the story of jericho and how the walls were brought down by uh, the Joshua and the Israelites surrounding the river, uh, crossing the River Jordan, surrounding the walled city of Jericho for seven days, and uh, basically walking around the, the outside of the walls, blowing ram's horns and carrying the Ark of the Covenant, and the walls supposedly then, then collapsed. Um, and I love the idea of uh, what at the time I thought was a non-violent violent revolution. I love the idea that the music could, could change the world. Yeah. And of course they blew trumpets and ram's horns, which is what they would have been in those days, which is what they used as trumpets. Yeah. Um, and I love the idea of, of, of actually, which is where I think the, the term horn section comes from, I think. Um, I love the idea that they actually used trumpets and sound. They created subsonics. Subsonics are very, very low notes, and um, it makes things crumble. It makes the earth move. But I just love the idea 
that music could change the world and that the idea of uh, people together en masse being able to create yeah. enough force that they could bring down the physical walls. So it was kind of a metaphorical thing for me, really. Oh, or an allegorical like thing, that. one of those things. Yeah, it really does work, the name, doesn't it? I would never think of it, but it just, you know, we like it. And I used then yeah. because there were so many bands called The. Yeah. Um, and I liked then because I thought well, everyone said, you know, you can't change the world, but then Jericho. And there was a band from Liverpool called uh, It's Immaterial, and I loved the name It's Immaterial. So I took the idea of using a, um, taking the word they, the, the, and adding N on the front, just to, so a, a slightly different context to, to the name, you know. Yeah, I like different it. Different pretext. Well, we're going to play out the next track, The Happening, uh, another great track on the show, isn't it? Thank you. We recorded this specifically for Help Musicians UK. Right. We did this um, as a, um, we did this as a, as a specific uh, fundraiser for Help Musicians UK, which was a charity started years ago by Vaughan Williams and Elgard, British composers, to try and help struggling musicians. And there's a lot of people out there struggling now, so we yeah. thought well, we'd do this together. Myself and Rail, our guitarist, we recorded it in his studio and we did a little lockdown video to go with it. So it's oh. uh, it's um, our latest offering. Ooh, and Jericho well, let's check out the video to this yeah. and uh, we look forward to seeing you on the other side. Oh. 
Time for another The Jericho Classic. Here's In The Darkest Hour. So lonely on your own So hard to be alone Know you were once before Someone came and opened up the door and then out you flew Out you flew and all you saw was someone standing with their dreams Run, run away In your darkest hour I will be the only one to send relief The only chance for you Suddenly it's changed It opened up and found Something deep inside that tells you You are the to end yourself Such a human games Take yourself and make your name And leave you there without your dreams Run, run away In your darkest hour about future projects because fingers crossed uh, it will be let's rock time in the summer and i know that you are coming to southampton i am indeed yes i can't wait to get back out on stage yeah oh, i'm doing yeah. um i'm playing let's rock the moor um and let's rock southampton in, in march uh, no it's in may <laughs> I, yeah. I turn up in march no, it'll be there. Oh, into one. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's right yeah in may and then i'm doing um let's rock um shrewsbury and let's rock Norwich in July. Um, but yeah, I'm really, I, I can't wait. I, mean, I, love, yeah. I love the Let's Rock Festivals. It'd be so nice to get out in front of people again. Um, oh, yeah. And I'm doing I a think series everyone's of. everyone's missed festivals, haven't they? We're all dying to we get back have. out there. So, I mean, it's yeah. going to be a difficult one to, to do, obviously, people getting together and people will be nervous about it, I think. But as long as everyone's either inoculated or, 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 or we all have a certain level of immunity, um, I'm hoping that by May, 
we'll all be able to get together and do stuff. And it'll be yeah, a fantastic absolutely. moment when we hit that stage, you know. Oh, and when it will. Everyone's it's going to be amazing. Celebrate, Bring it yeah. on. Well, we're going to play out uh, your next song, uh, What Does It Take? Now, this features Belinda Carlisle uh, singing all vocals on the chorus, isn't it? Yeah, um, uh, Belinda joined us for this in Los Angeles. Um, oh. I've always been a big fan of her work and we had the same producer, Rick Knowles. And I just sort of said, any chance of getting her coming in, do a duet with me? And she agreed to come and sing some backing vocals. So she sings in the chorus. And um, it's one of our favourite songs from the album as yeah. well. Yeah, yeah, no, it's a great track. Uh, let's check this out. and We'll see you after. that we would love on the show to play out Muscle Deep uh, by Nen Jericho. This is a tune, isn't it? Yeah, this is one of my favourites. Uh, Muscle Deep was a song written about apartheid or about prejudice. And we were the first British man that ever took the Artist Against Apartheid banner on the road with us because it's about 85 foot long. Um, so there wasn't that many bands that were playing places big enough to use it. But we got very much behind the cause and we used the logo in the video. And there's also a bloodstained map of South Africa in the video, which was the record sleeve, uh, where we point out, well, Durban and Soweto and Sharpsville where there were massacres 
that took place. Um, and uh, it got banned by Radio 1. It wasn't banned when it was first released, but oh. when we re-released it with um, the Bloodstained Map of South Africa and with a fact sheet inside the, the single detailing the horrors of apartheid, suddenly they decided it was uh, too much of a violent image in the lyric, which is very strange. All I sing is kicks you in the face sometimes. And they think they decided, so they banned it. So uh, they'd apologised to me a few years ago. So it didn't get higher than about 45 or 46 in the charts, but... Um, it's one of our favourite songs and it always goes down really well live and we're very proud of it. Oh, we're going to play that out on the show, uh, especially the people that requested it tonight. So thank you. Uh, but Mark Short, it's been so requesting. good to have you on the show. Uh, we've learned a lot of technical things today, haven't we? And we've got there. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much. I've really enjoyed it. And uh, thanks to all your listeners. We love your show. Thanks everybody for supporting it. And thank you for all the people that have been supporting Then Jericho through lockdown and sending me a lovely message on Facebook and on Twitter mm-hmm. and Instagram. It means so much to me to know that we uh, actually do entertain people and, and, and to keep people smiling. Yeah, we'll bring on those gigs, those Lex Rock festivals uh, in the yeah, summer. I can't wait. Uh, Mark, thank you so much. It's Mark from Then Jericho, everyone. Thank you so much, Hayley. God bless you. A oh, huge thank you to Mark Shaw from Then Jericho. What a brilliant guest on tonight's show. Let's play out that last track, Muscle Deep.
Oh, loving that song. And a huge thank you to Mark Shaw from Ben Jericho for being a fantastic guest on tonight's show. And to you at home for supporting the show every single week. It really is very much appreciated. Thank you. Now, remember, you can get in contact. Details are on the screen below. I love hearing from you. I'm Hayley Palmer. Stay safe and I'll see you same time, same place next week. Mm -hmm.